Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Veteran Mountain Man and welcome to another Regulatory Tuesday. And today's Regulatory Tuesday is actually going to be a bit of a celebration because apparently Judge John R. Rule has found the, in, the Seattle City Income Tax to be unconstitutional. Now, I think I should give you all a bit of a background. So first of all, something you should know is that the state of Washington has a provision in its constitution that requires taxation to be apportioned across the population equally. So all classes of people have to pay the same apportionment of taxation. It doesn't really matter what your income is so much as what your personal wealth is. Well, this kind of clause used to be in the federal constitution that taxation must be apportioned across the population equally. That way, all of the citizenry of the United States had to pay an equal taxation. So you taxed goods instead of income, and that way people paid the tax if they purchased the good and if they used the product. And it was relatively fair. Now, part of the reason for the change in the federal constitution was to enact prohibition because the progressives realized that they could not get the government to prohibit alcohol when the government was taxing alcohol in order to survive. And so there was an amendment made which allowed for the apportionment of taxation via income and allowed the federal government to implement an income tax instead of fair, flat taxation. And at which point prohibition shortly followed because now there was no more stumbling blocks. Well, anyhow, the tax was defeated, arguing that it violates the rule of law in that it targets specific members of the population. And it was stated that the court performed a service for all taxpayers and all property owners by defeating the city's strategy to undermine their rights. Now, former Mayor Ed Murray, disgraced Mayor Ed Murray, who was caught having pedophilic relationships, uh, was the one who actually signed this legislation into law. Now, I'm not saying that it should have been defeated because of that. I'm just saying that, remember, this legislation was mostly worked by Democrats because Seattle City Council and Seattle's mayor are pretty much all Democrats. And it's actually very surprising to see this law shot down in King County, but I'm glad it was. Uh, however, the city argued that it was actually an excise tax for the privilege of receiving revenue in Seattle and choosing to live there. Rule, the judge who struck this down, actually pointed out that the ordinance is labeled as an income tax outside of court and in the city statutes. And so he struck it down and struck it down hard. Now the city is going to appeal this ruling. Uh, and I hope that at the appeals level and even at the state Supreme Court level, this gets struck down. Because if it does, this will be a great victory for those who demand equal taxation and representation. Well, thank you all again for joining me. Please remember to upvote and follow me on Vidme or like and subscribe on YouTube. You can also subscribe to me at the other social media platforms down below, as well as at BitChute. Thank you all again and have yourselves a great day.